We had been told by Nick that there was a cenote down by one of the islands. We weren't exactly sure where we were, where the islands were, where the cenote was. That's right, it's one of the harder lakes to get to and I just can't get my jumbo down there. So it's kind of paddle boards only. Now the cenote is over on this far shore. It's only about 10 foot offshore, but it's a pretty big hole. Okay. Hopefully there'll be fish rolling on it and they will say, oh, well, that's, that's where the cenote is. I like that plan. Once you get into the lake, it'll shallow back up again, but that's okay. a swampy, marshy entrance. That's it, grab those boards, come on up. So we put into the paddleboard only lagoon, AKA the 20 foot walk. What was the quote from Nick? He was like, 20 or so meters. It was more like a hundred or so meters. Yeah, it was significant. It wasn't then, too bad though. Mud, about to the knees. Yep. But honestly, it wasn't that bad. We've done worse. Anyways. Carry the paddle boards in. Yep, put Loaded in. Loaded up all of our gear. Start pushing. And the water starts getting darker. Oh, like well. pretty deep at that point. Wasn't too long before we saw a rolling fish right up against the mangrove. Through one cast, put it down, one tick. Immediate action though. Yeah, like blew it up very quickly. So that was a promising sign. And um, I was like, hey Dave, I'm gonna try one more. And saw another fish. It was one of those parallel shots, side of the paddle board. And I did this and the fish, as I started releasing, the fish kind of freaked out. And I was like, oh God, he's spooked. It wasn't spooking, it turns out. He was attacking the fly. It's hungry. On the way down, boom, blew it up again. And I'm like, did he try to eat it or did he try to smack the with his face. Like the fly was here in the fish instead of going there with its mouth. It was like, I'm just gonna do a rainbow over Yeah. It. What was that? I mean, did you hook it or did he cartwheel it? I was like, damn it, it's two now. I wanna see if I can get one of these to actually eat or stick for a second. We came around this corner, there was a big open flat. It was probably only 18 inches deep, pretty shallow. And then I just see two distinct black lines coming down, do a perfect turn. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Saw the broad top, tops of their head. It's like, that's good sized fish. Knees start shaking, of course. Throw it a cast. Off again. I was like, all right, Dave, your turn. Yeah, so we changed the route at that point. We keep going down. I mean, the conditions are phenomenal. That's the, good morning, yeah. Kind of the best, the best we've seen in the lagoons all, all week. Water super clear, super slack. Um, so I'm excited to get up there. I would say foreshadowing, decently arrogant to go from bring your first tarp into hand to, I'm gonna try to do this on a paddle board now. Yeah, just but a few more variables. Why not? Um, so we're going down. You were, you were mostly waiting for rollers. I started doing a few blind casts in a fishy looking spots. Right. And soon enough, I think I see just something on the bottom. It's not moving like we were used to, but it looks, you know, vaguely fishy. So I just plunk the fly right on top of it. And same with yours, immediately explodes out of the water with it. Um, 
starts running, which is amazing, awesome, why you tarpon fish, but I'm standing up on a paddleboard at this point. It immediately just literally brings me to my knees. I go down to try to stabilize myself, reach down with my left hand, throw the anchor off, um, and that time it starts making a run towards the mangrove. Keep in the trees. Oh boy. <laughs> Heck yeah! Yeah! Off? Yeah, you sure? Dude, that was badass. And it's gone. Jumped like almost into that dead wood, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. Did not survive the jump. Uh, that was amazing. Loved it. Um, we keep going down the rest of that shoreline. So I get the anchor down, but I'm still drifting a little bit. I'm fiddling with that. I look down. You're five not, feet off the bank too. Yeah, and not five feet from me is a very, very good fish. Hmm? It kind of sees me and does a thing where it's like, all right, I'll move along, starts to scurry. So I just kind of desperation throw the fly down. It's in the glare, I can't really see it. I know, dude, nothing you can do. Oh, yes, that's a big fish, Dave, stay tight. Keep stripping, keep stripping, keep stripping, keep stripping. Runs to the right. I think it like spits it or loses it for a second. This tarpon is just determined to eat the fly. It grabs it. I finally <laughs> stick it. At that point, I've got five feet of line out. It's right on front of the boat. So I'm trying to like kind of do this weird set thing. And then it just turns me 180 degrees. I go again back down to the knees um, as it runs off. I'm trying to get line back. I'm trying to get the rod high. It very conveniently for the camera goes straight to you. Yep. Holy shit. Oh my God. <laughs> And that was the that was the forbidden lagoon, only accessible with paddle boards. Hasn't been fished since the Mayans were here in 1500 BC. <laughs> we'll fact check that. Science. We'll adjust the numbers later. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Wood fish again. <laughs>